So when you get your new Peter Hyman saddle, let's just check to see on the fitting with your new saddle. Place it up on the shoulder here, slide it down behind the shoulder. Okay, so drop it up there, push it down behind the shoulder, and we'll find this nice little snug position. We have a good clearance here, three, sometimes four fingers. Good clearance on the sides. The balance looks good. It's not coming past the last rib, which is also good. And the girth straps, it's very important to where they sit. Now, the horses all, always have a girth groove here. Um, and this is where the girth is meant to sit. So place your girth straps through that keeper there. Drill it up gently. The girth has elastic on both sides, which I really like. As the horses do have ribs here and they expand and breathe, etc. Tuck them in there like that. And of course you place your stirrup leathers on and have a ride around for, uh, if, you, if you can ride five days in a row, ride it for a week. Um, and if there's any, any uh, questions about how you feel on the saddle, uh, please give us a call. But generally, if you want this nice balanced seat, which is the deepest point in the middle here, good contact through here, short gusset, sitting behind the shoulder. Another thing is if you press on here, it's not flipping up at the back. If a gullet is made too wide for, for, for the horse, um, then if you press on here, the saddle will flip up and down like this. But you will get some movement in the saddle while it's, when it's new, when you start riding or lunging, because this pure wool panel here is, has a bit of spring in it, and we need to give it time to mould to the horse's back. But not forgetting that the saddle must be oiled regularly, uh, especially when it's new. So there we have it.